So this is going to be the first of a three-part series of the aides who've been subpoenaed by the January 6th committee. I already did a video on Steve Bannon, so this will be just the three left. I uh, hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is the first video of that three-part series, and it starts like this. Trump directed former aides to ignore a congressional subpoena uh, that the January 6th committee ordered that these men turn over documents by Thursday and sit for interviews uh, by uh, within a week. Um, the first one I'm going to do the video on is uh, former media czar Dan Scavino. Czar was a, uh, a term that uh, Trump uh, decided to give to this fellow's position. Now, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about Dan uh, in just a second here. So here's what I could wiki about uh, Dan Scavino. Pretty interesting, but very, very, very short, okay? So uh, Daniel Scavino Jr. was born January 15th of 1976. He's a political advisor who served number 45 as White House Deputy Chief of Staff for Communications from 2019 to 2021 and Director of Social Media from 2017 to 2021. Previously, he was the, wait for this, Previously, he was the general manager of Trump National Golf Club Westchester and then director of social media for number 45's 26, uh, 2016 campaign. He was born in New York, raised in New York City. 1992, he was a caddy, okay, a caddy for number 45's golf party at uh, Briar Hall Country Club. So that's what graduating from the State, of Uni State University of New York at Plattsburgh in 1998 uh, with a bachelor's degree in communications uh, gets you. His wife filed for divorce in January of 2018. So that's Dan Scavino. So the Hermetic Tarot, based on the esoteric workings of the Secret Order of the Golden Dawn by Godfrey Dowson. These are U.S. Game Systems cards. And these cards are, I consider them kind of severe. They're a black and white deck, uh, and they, they're really loaded with symbolism. So for me, sometimes that can kind of get in the way. But uh, on the other hand, it gives you lots to uh, work with as far as dividing the cards. The uh, uh, little guidebook that comes with them is, um, you know, it's a little small. You can read them, but it gives you very useful interpretations of the cards. And if you're going to use these cards, I would say take some time to just read through this and know what you're talking about. Um, these cards, though, I mean, look at this. What happened here, the Golden Dawn would encourage their members to design cards that meant uh, something in particular to them. And so these are one of the uh, um, surviving uh, works. Um, you can see that uh, if you're going to take them just at their face, they tell you how to read the cards. But if you're just going to take them for what a traditional Eight of Cups is, then you have Clear symbolism if you look at it, but some of these can really take a minute for you to, uh, you know, interpret what all of the symbolism in here means. And there's everything in here. There's astrology, um, numerology. I mean, it, they're very thorough cards. Uh, I only use them uh, when I have kind of a severe subject or, or person that I want to uh, read on. So I like to spread these out so that you get a chance to see what uh, different cards look like in case you don't collect cards or you don't get to see full decks of tar tarot cards all the time. I've got a ton of decks of tarot cards. I don't know. i got to get a rain on this, I think. But uh, the Hermetic Tarot are very interesting uh, cards to use. Okay, so this is going to be Dan Scavino, Dan Scavino Jr., just so the cards don't confuse us with, his, with the poor Dan Scavino Sr. Hopefully he's not going to chip off the old block, Jr., that is. So Dan Scavino, wow, uh, Sen, uh, Jr., 
Dan, that's the shuffle because that's not working very well. Dan Scavino Jr. Okay, let's try to zero in on this fellow. Okay, Dan Scavino Jr. So he was director of social media, and uh, before that, he was a, a general man a manager at one of the golf clubs. Good grief. Dan Scavino Jr. And then a caddy. I guess, to be fair, it was some sort of a special event where to be uh, selected as a caddy was, you know, sort of a, a prize, sort of something to be sought after. But, I mean, how do you go from being a general manager at a golf club to being uh, a social director? I don't know. Maybe it does go hand in hand. Dan Scavino Jr. I'm just going to do three questions, and I'm going to try to do the same three questions uh, for all three of these fellows. Remember, Steve Bannon's already been, there's a video on him, so you can look that up. So Dan Scavino Jr., golf club manager, golf caddy, and social media guru, according to 45. Dan Scavino Jr., Dan Scavino Jr. So I want to know if you're, are you going to have to turn over the information? Because there's three parts to that uh, January 6th committee uh, subpoena. One is to turn over uh, documents. Um, the second is to, well, I guess it's two parts. One is to turn over documents, and the second is to appear before the committee and uh, testify. So, and then I want to know at the end of that uh, if he's going to be some, be some sort of a legal consequence for what he's done. Dan Scavino Jr., the documents. Dan Scavino Jr., Dan Scavino Jr., the documents. Huh. So let's take um, three cards just to start. This could get a little longer. Dan Scavino Jr., the documents. Okay, Dan Scavino Jr., will you turn over the documents? Um, let's see. The uh, first card out of this is the Hierophant. Oh man, this is the government, guys. So the government, and this is very interesting because we have over here this elephant, uh, which is in fact the symbol of the Republican Party. And uh, so the Hierophant, and in this uh, esoteric deck, uh, this is called Magus of the Eternal God. So that would be like the magician of the Eternal God. This is the government. This is the Hierophant. This is the government. This is the January 6th Committee. Second card in this is going to be the Three of Pentacles, Lord of Material Work. You know what? These are people uh, producing something for public display. Lord of Material Work. Lord of Material Work. It looks like it's going to be a yes. And then the uh, next card for this is going to be the Six of Swords, which is um, moving out of troubled water in the typical Rider Waite deck. And this is called Lord of Earned success. So it looks to me like these cards are reading for the January 6th committee concerning uh, Dan Scavino. And so this is the Hierophant, that's the committee. This is uh, working together to produce something for public display is how I like to define this Three of Pentacles and the cards know that about me I suppose. So yeah, that's public display, that's the, the documents, Lord of Material Work. And then the final card for that question is Lord of Earned Success. Success, moving out of troubled waters, yep. You will have to turn over those documents. So the next one then uh, is, will Dan Scavino uh, appear and testify before the Congressional Committee? Will he appear and testify uh, before the Congressional Committee? I'm going to answer this um, telephone message. Will Dan Scavino appear before the Congressional Committee. Three cards. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Will Dan Scavino appear before the Congressional Committee? The, um, wow. Uh, this is the Empress. And uh, the Empress is fruitful. She um, has what it takes to to inspire us to get things done. This, so this is the daughter of the Mighty Ones, Daughter of the Mighty Ones. So I wonder if this is, is still talking about the Congressional Committee, the Empress. The next card for this, will he testify, is the Seven of Swords. Ah, so the Seven of Swords is deceit and, th and thievery. And this is uh, called the Lord of Unstable Effort. My goodness. So 
Okay, uh, we'll leave it at that for right now, and I'll tell you what I think at the end. And the final card for Will Dan Scavino Testify is Justice, and this is the Daughter of the Lord of Truth. So yeah, he will testify. So the uh, Daughter of the Mighty Ones, this is the uh, fruitful energy of that January 6th committee. Uh, the Seven of Swords, Deceit, Deception, Thievery, this is Lord of Unstable Effort, and this is him trying to lie to the committee. And then the final card for this is Justice, and this is the Daughter of the Lord of Truth. And justice will prevail. She's the final card in this little draw. So, yep, you'll have to testify, and they'll get to the truth. Final card for this is going. The final draw, I should say, is going to be Dan Scavino. Dan Scavino, will you suffer a legal consequence for uh, what they um, find out? Will you suffer, Dan Scavino, a legal consequence for what the committee finds out? Dan Scavino, will you suffer a legal consequence for what the committee? finds out. Start with three cards and see if we need to get more. I'm liking this thick place over here, but we'll go over here and take one from over here. So Dan Scavino, will you suffer the legal consequence for what is revealed? First card, then, is death. <laughs> so this is Child of the Great Transformers. Death. You know, death is the complete end of one cycle. Usually that portends the beginning of another cycle, but this is death. So, I don't mean not literal death, but, you know, not good. The next card for this is uh, the Queen of Cups. So, the Queen of Cups is a, okay, she is a compassionate queen. So, this is called the Queen of the Thrones of Waters. So, this Queen of the Thrones of Waters looks like she's coming up with some compassion here. And the last card, then, is the Seven of Swords moving out of troubled water. Uh, no, Seven of Swords, let me think about that. Uh, Seven of Swords, uh, move, I need to look at my... Um, cheat sheet because I'm so excited about this uh, divination. Seven of Swords, Theft Betrayal, Bad Luck, Espionage, espionage and Obstacles. So the Seven of Swords is, uh, oh, I'm going to make this into a, a dyadic cross at the minimum. So the signifier for this is death. Okay. The challenge to that, which is good for him, is the Queen of Cups. This is a Queen of Compassion. The base of this whole thing then is a Lord of Unstable uh, Effort and so this is the seven of swords. Oh, yeah, deceit, deception. I, I knew that. I'm just too excited. Deceit, deception was the base of this whole thing. Okay, so now let's get um, the past for this reading right here. So this is the two of cups, partnerships. This is called the Lord of Love. So in the past, we had the partnerships. This is the Trump um, gang. Uh, in the sky, this reading, hopes in the, you know, what you're going to hope for. This is the universe. So this is the great one of the night. Of time, the great one of the night of time, the darkness of time. Time as a concept uh, has a darkness, and this is the great one of that. So, for the sky of this, the universe, uh, this is the last card in the major arcana. So, this is coming full circle. Very interesting because death is the end of a cycle and the beginning of another cycle. So, this um, universe is talking about uh, beginning some new cycle. Um, wow, this could be. Um, Oh, okay, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, the um, likely outcome of all of this then is right here. And this is the Five of Pentacles <laughs> and the typical Rider Waite death. This is being left out in the cold. And this is the Lord of Material Trouble. The Lord of Material Trouble. Okay, so yes, he will suffer a legal consequence. And I'll tell you how this reads. So the um, signifier card in there is death. So that's the end of a cycle. Not good. If you're asking a question, you get death. Many times, it's just, you know, some sort of a difficult thing is coming to a stop. That's what's happening here. The question was, will he serve a legal consequence? Uh, the challenge to that was the Queen of Cups, which is a compassionate queen, okay? So she's uh, giving him some compassion. The base of this whole thing was the Seven of Swords, which is deceit and deception. The past of this reading was the Two of Cups, which is uh, lovers, so that's the companionship with this Trump uh, oh, oh, gang. Uh, the sky of this is the universe, which is the end of the major arcana. This is called the Great One of the Night of Time. And so this is the beginning of some sort of, I'm going to guess, a sentence or a punishment or, or something like that. And then the final uh, outcome for this is the Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. So, Dan, it's not looking good for you, buddy. That is a very satisfying read for me, for Dan Scavino. Well, that's the reading for Dan Scavino. I hope that you got something out of that. And frankly, all three of these people are just ne'er-do-wells who have managed to uh, boost themselves up to these amazing uh, jobs, which th the one thing you can take from all this is that in the United States, you can achieve anything. 
I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.